Okay, here we are back inside Matrix Gold once again. Uh, thanks for tuning in. I hope the videos are helping you in your designing process. If they are, please like, subscribe, and leave a comment. I'd really appreciate that. Uh, yes, and let's see. I'm gonna. I'm just setting this up here real quick. I forgot to transform the mirror of those stones over. Uh, I just put this together very quickly, uh, so don't judge me here on this one. Uh, today, what we're going to be doing is uh, actually focusing on uh, <clears throat> transparent background. That was one of the questions. There were several questions over the last several videos that I'm going to try and answer in this one video. But the main focus will be how to get a transparent background for your items so that you can put it in a photo editor and, and do some other manipulation to it, right? Uh, so uh, it's very easy, very, very easy. <clears throat> uh, but I do want to ask answer some questions that uh, were in the last several videos here real quick. So one was, how do I get the, the Rhino command options? Uh, up right uh, I think they're using matrix 9 but it is the same you just, I think I've showed this in past videos uh, but we'll just go ahead and flap this in here uh, first go down to your command line type in options O-P-T-I-O-N-S and then hit enter uh, your rhino options dialog will uh, pop uh, rough rhino options pop up will come up uh, just go to your toolbars uh, so click on toolbars and then make sure you're on your default scroll scroll down uh, scroll down to uh, your 16 tab there and then hit ok and it'll load that out there and you can snap it to your uh, left uh, right bottom or top any of them uh, i'm just going to snap it to the top there uh, so that's how you get the rhino options out there in m9 and in mg uh, okay uh, so we i went ahead and made this another question was how do i get uh, some of my renderings for my thumbnails uh, i think they're using m9 right now and they're a little cautious to make the transition to mg because of the cycles uh, and v-ray being taking out well uh, to clarify that uh, just to, so you know uh, rhino from 3.0 to 3.5 if you buy the new rhino which is 3.5 or if you have 3.0 you're able to update all the way to 3.5 and there's a lot a lot of new uh, items from 3.0 to 3.5 that they've loaded in that really uh, alter the program massively uh, there's a lot of extra things they throw in and one of them was putting some of the v-ray options into the uh matrix gold so that you if you're just wanting to do a real quick rendering uh, you're able to do that so that's that's basically all i use on those uh, options uh, uh, on those thumbnails is i just real quick do the v-ray options and slap it i don't really worry about setting it up real good uh, i just want a real quick render right after making the video i want to go ahead and do a render and move on but it's it's really good uh, You'll love the cycles rendering once you get learned uh, up to date on it. It's a little learning curve, but it doesn't take that long at all. But you still have some of the V-Ray options. So right here, you have all your metals, uh, the cycles metals, right? Uh, and then you have your cycles gems. Uh, and then you have your render, rendering only, rendering only. These are just for rendering. If you use, apply these and then go to your... Uh, uh, tools and try to do a tech report uh, it won't give you uh, any of this information so make sure you do your tech report before you apply any kind of uh, render uh, materials only the v-ray style stuff right uh, so let's go ahead and uh, set this up i haven't applied any materials just like with the m9 we have to apply the materials so i'm going to go ahead and select my uh, ring and my prongs there and i'm just going to go ahead and put the the v-ray material on there and set that in there right and then i'm going to go ahead and select my gemstones and put the v-ray material on those rendering only material right uh, so it's, it does a mapping of it, just kind of lays it over the top. Cycles is more of a natural type thing. Uh, 
but anyway, let's keep moving forward and I'll go ahead and activate uh, my Matrix Gold Classic there. Uh, so that's applied. Now, uh, I can switch this to Ray Traced here, uh, which will give me uh, a view of what it's going to look like, right? And I can also, uh, with this viewport active, I can go to my prop, uh, properties, Rhino properties, and click on this little star, and then hit my denoiser, uh, Navita, which just kind of speeds it up, even inside the ray trace. It'll speed it up just a little bit for you. And if you're doing a lot of stuff, it might be good to activate that. But if you have another active viewport, that's not in ray trace mode and you go to your properties, you're, you're not going to see that option available to you, right? Uh, so you make sure you're in your uh, uh, ray traced active viewport because my switch here goes away, right? Switch here, nothing, nothing, but here I have it and I can click on it and activate it, right? Okay, so we'll want to keep this dialog box open. Now we have, I have several in here already that I kind of use quite often, so I just leave them in here. But if you don't see these, maybe you just have properties for the first time, you can right click on any of those and it'll give you options to be able to uh, load in there. Now I have a calculator in my uh, 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 box there, right? You can just right click and you can load any of these into your, uh, options panel right here right so let's go back to uh properties there's my v -ray. so we're we want to get rid of the background let's let's focus on that now uh and you can you can from here you can just go ahead and render it and it'll give you the normal with the background and everything right uh but we want no background uh so we want to go ahead and get rid of it so we're going to go ahead and click on our render here and then we're going to scroll down and right here you can see transparent background we're going to click on that and we're just going to go ahead and get rid of the ground plane and get rid of this here right we don't want any of that so it'll give us the item here right now all you have to do is just go ahead and hit your render and i won't be able to slide this over until it's finished Oh, there it is. Okay. Uh, and it will go ahead and render it out for us. Let's activate the Navita here. And you can see we have the transparent background because I have the RBG or RGBA channel active. You know, if I put it that, you know, so make sure you have your RBGA channel active. Uh, and I only set it to 150, so we are done at this point. And then you can just go ahead and save it. And when you save it, you want to save it as a PNG or a TIF file. Uh, there's another one, D something, I think, uh, but uh, PNG is works fine. So we'll just go ahead and get rid of this here. And I'll get rid of this here. Okay. Uh, and no, I don't want to do it. We didn't do anything anyway. So I'm going to go ahead and turn that off. And we'll switch this back to this. And we'll just kind of keep that there. And I have my Photoshop editor uh, open here. So I can go ahead and load in uh, some files. And I'll go ahead and load in <laughs> this background. And I'll select my item there and hit open. Uh, and I'll do some stuff over on the sides just saying i don't want any color changes uh so there's my file and from right here you can take this and put it in anything so if i activate my don't judge me on my background i just threw this up there very quickly to do this video uh and then uh throw my grab my ring here and just drag it in uh now i am able to move my ring uh anywhere i want in the picture and it does a awesome job of cutting it out you can see right in here, it even cuts it out very well and in this little spot here. So it, it does a great job of uh, getting rid of everything and keeping your item, right? Uh, and then you can just go ahead and click it and then do all your other stuff. And you have something that you can put up on your website or, or however you're wanting to do uh whatever right uh so hopefully that answers uh the remove background question uh and uh the toolbar question and the very quick uh, rendering here there's other videos i have up uh for some rendering so check those out if you want to know a little, little bit more about rendering i think even the tennis shoe uh, goes into a lot of the uh, rendering uh, options but it's kind of high level uh but uh 
you know, hopefully that'll answer your questions. If it does, please leave a like, subscribe, and a comment below. And thanks for watching, and good designing.